Hi there. I've got a Victorinox Safari Trooper for sale in my Etsy shop. So let's talk about those and take a look at this knife. Um, this is a civilian version of a knife that Victorinox produced for the German Army um, between 1976 and 1986. There were several different manufacturers, Victorinox just being one of those. Um, Victorinox continued to make this civilian version called the Safari Trooper up until 2003, I believe. So these have been discontinued now for um, you know 14 years. There were a couple different versions. There was this um, nylon uh, olive drab green version you see here, and there was a red version. The red version had the Swiss cross embossed in the center. This just kind of has a blank here. Now the German army knives look a lot like this, except for they have a German symbol here of an eagle. So it's a 108 millimeter knife, which puts it somewhere in between, you know, the Spartan, which is 91 millimeters, and the Swiss Army soldier knife, which is 108. And I meant to say the Swiss Army soldier's knife is 111 millimeters. This was the first time Victorinox ever used nylon scales, and they're very tough. Uh, these are very tough knives, of course. They're built for military spec. And it's a very unusual knife for Victorinox to make. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be selling this on my Etsy shop, so let's just take a look at it and uh, look at the quality of the tools and things. First of all, here's the main blade. It's a spear point blade. It's rather large. And it has the tang stamp Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Ross Fry. And nothing on the other side. This blade has the factory stonewash finish. Uh, and edge. Very, very clean with few, if any, scratches. And it's, uh, of course, very straight and true. Now let me just give you an idea of the size comparison. Back to our Spartan. Here's your standard 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife blade. And as you can see, it's quite a bit larger, not only in reach, but uh, uh, the stock as well. Now what makes these kind of interesting, and this knife has great snap by the way, good tool retention, no wobble, everything's perfect. Um, the second tool here really makes this kind of unique. This is a combo tool, it's obviously a saw. It's got a, a double tooth cross cut saw. And uh, again, this saw doesn't look like it's really been used to me. You can see those factory grind marks, they're, they're, they don't have any scratches across them. But it also has a screwdriver at the tip, cap lifter, combo can opener. So kind of like on your combo tools, it does both. So four tools, or four functions, all in one implement or tool. Now the civilian versions came, a lot of them anyway, with a saw guard. And this one does have the saw guard. It's just a little stainless steel snap over affair. I don't want to put it on there right now because I don't want to keep putting it on, taking it off, and, and putting scratches on this blade. This blade is just that nice. But um, it's just a way to, I guess, protect your fingers from the, um, the saw teeth when you're using the other uh, tools like the screwdriver. I'm not sure that the military versions came with that saw guard. I guess soldiers were trusted not to uh, cut their fingers on that. Just to give you a look inside here, This knife is very clean, and the liners are in great shape, and the scales are in great shape. Like I said, I would say like new on this knife's condition. Uh, back tools. You've got a corkscrew, which I think is uh, kind of unusual for a military knife. You know, the Swiss Army soldiers' knives never had a corkscrew. The thing I want to show you about that is that it is um, substantially longer than the typical corkscrew on a 91 millimeter Victorinox. And then the other back tool is a sharpened reamer. It does have a nail nick on the opposite side with a finger cut out, which I just think is a great idea, and I wish all Swiss Army knives did that. It's very reminiscent of what Wenger used to do. And when you get that out, you can see what a long tool that is, and it has a very long sharpened edge, and the edge on that is really good. Good point. 
But uh, just to show you, here's the Swiss soldier knife again, and it just has Victorinox's standard size sharpened reamer. And you can see how much larger this one is and how much more of a cutting surface it gives you. So i got to think that that's probably better. Anyway, that's a beautiful uh, example of a Safari Trooper, the civilian version of the German army knife that Torinox produced up until 2003. If you'd like to take a closer look at that or own it for yourself, it's for sale in my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching and have fun collecting. <music>